Om Shanti. This is the Avyakt Murli of 7th of January, 1985. And the title is Special Thought for the New Year. Become a master bestower of fortune. Today, the father, the bestower of fortune, has come to meet his children who are master bestowers of fortune. The father, the bestower of fortune, is looking at the chart of every child. With all the treasures you have received from the bestower of fortune, to what extent have you become a master bestower of fortune, the same as the bestower of fortune? Have you become bestowers of knowledge? Have you become bestowers of the power of remembrance? According to the time and need, have you become bestowers of all the powers? Have you become bestowers of virtues? Have you become bestowers of spiritual vision and spiritual love? According to the time, have you become bestowers of cooperation to every soul? Have you become bestowers of your elevated company and connection to those who are weak? Have you become bestowers of zeal and enthusiasm to make souls who are lacking in attainment into fully contended souls? Baba was looking at this chart of every master bestower. A bestower means someone who gives at every moment through every thought. A bestower means someone who is generous hearted, who, when it comes to giving, has a heart as big as an ocean. A bestower means someone who has no desire to take from any soul other than the Father. One who constantly gives. If someone gives spiritual love and cooperation, then in return for one, he would give multi-million fold. Just as the father doesn't take, but gives. If a child gives everything old worth straws that he has to the bestower, in return, the bestower gives so much that the receiving changes into giving. Such master bestowers of fortune means those who give in every thought and at every step. A great bestower means a bestower of fortune. Because of constantly giving, they would be constantly altruistic. They would be beyond any selfish motive and be loving to everyone the same as the Father. Everyone would automatically have a record of giving regard to a bestower of fortune. A bestower of fortune would automatically be a bestower in everyone's vision. That is, such a soul would be great. To what extent have you become such a bestower of fortune? A bestower of fortune means someone who is part of the royal clan. A bestower means someone who is a sustainer, one who constantly gives the sustenance of love and cooperation, the same as the father. A bestower of fortune means someone who is always full. Therefore, check yourself. Are you one who takes or a master bestower of fortune who gives? Now, according to the time, you have to play the part of being a master bestower of fortune because time is coming closer. That is, you have to become equal to the father. If even now you desire to take for yourself, when would you become a bestower? To give now is to receive, to the extent 
that you give accordingly, it will automatically continue to increase to that extent. Don't become takers of any type of limited things. If even now you desire to fulfill your limited hopes, how would you fulfill the hopes of all souls of the world? I want a little name glorification, a little respect, regard, love, and power. If even now you have these selfish motives, that is, if you have these desires for yourself, when would you experience the stage of being completely ignorant of the knowledge of desires? Those limited desires will never allow you to become good. Those desires are a sign of being a royal beggar. All of these things automatically come in front of someone who has a right. They don't sing songs of I want, I want, jahiye, jahiye. They sing the songs, I have received it. I have become this. For unlimited bestowers, limited hopes and desires stay behind them like a shadow. Since you sing the song that you have attained what you wanted, how is it that there still remains a desire to attain limited name, respect, honor, and prestige? Otherwise, change the song. When even the five elements become a servant in front of you bestowers, when you become conquerors of matter and also of maya, then for you, those limited desires are like a lamp in front of the sun. When you have become the sun, what need is there for lamps? The basis of fulfilling whatever you want is to continue to give the maximum of that particular thing. Give respect, don't take it. Give regard, don't just take regard. If you want your name glorified, give the donation of the Father's name and your name will automatically be glorified. Giving is the basis of receiving. There is a system that has continued on the path of devotion. When anything is lacking, they make that person donate that particular thing to attain more of it. Then giving becomes a form of receiving. In the same way, you children of the bestower are going to become deities who give. People continue to sing praise of all of you as the deities who bestow, the bestowers of peace, the bestowers of wealth, they don't sing your praise as those who are takers. So today, Baba was looking at this chart. How many are going to become givers and how many are going to become takers? Worldly hopes and desires have ended. Now, in terms of the unlimited desires of spiritual life, you consider them to be desires of knowledge, do you not? And that you should have these, should you not? However, anyone who has a limited desire will not be able to confront Maya. This is not something you receive by asking for it. Will you tell someone to give you regard or make others give you regard? When you receive something by asking for it, that is the wrong path. Therefore, how could you find your destination? Therefore, become master bestowers of fortune. Then, everyone will automatically come to give to you. Those who ask for honor, shun, become distressed, parishan. Therefore, maintain the honor of being a master bestower. Don't say mine, mine. Everything is yours. When you say it is yours, everyone will say to you, 
It is yours. When you say mine, mine, you will lose whatever comes to you because where there isn't contentment, even attainment is the same as lack of attainment. Where there is contentment, even a little is equal to everything. Therefore, by saying yours, yours, you will become an embodiment of attainment. When you make a sound in a dome, the same sound echoes back to you. Similarly, in this unlimited dome, if you say mine from your heart, then the same sound of mine will come back to you from everyone. You will say mine and they will say mine. Therefore, however much you say with love from your heart, that it is yours, not just for your own purpose, accordingly, everyone will say yours to the ones who says it with love from the heart. With this method, the limited mind will change into the unlimited. And instead of being those who take, you will become master bestowers of fortune. So this year, have this special thought that you will be a constant master bestower of fortune. Do you understand? Maharashtra's own has come today. And so you have to become great, Mahan. Do you not? Maharashtra means to be constantly great and become those who bestow to everyone. Maharashtra means the land that is always full. The land may not be full, but you great souls are full. Therefore, Maharashtra means the great donor souls. The other group is from UP. In UP too, they give importance to the Ganges, the purifier. So, you are always the embodiment of attainment, and this is why you can become purifiers. So those from UP are also the treasure stores of purity. You are the master bestowers of fortune who give everyone a drop of purity. So both of you are great, are you not? Bab Dada is also pleased to see all the great souls. Double foreigners are those who remain in double intoxication. One is the intoxication of remembrance and the other is the intoxication of service. The majority are those who always have this double intoxication. This double intoxication will save you from all other types of intoxication. So the double foreigners are claiming a good number in the race of both of these. You also continue to sing songs of Baba and service, even in your dreams. So this is the confluence of the three rivers. You are the Ganges, Jamuna, and Saraswati. Madhuban is the true place that has become fruitful, Abad, by Allah, Allahabad, city in UP, India. This is the confluence of the three rivers on the land that has been made fruitful by Allah. Acha, to all those who are constant master bestowers of fortune, to those who constantly desire to give to everyone, the ones who are going to become deities, to those who always sing the song, yours, yours, to those who constantly make souls who lack something full and satisfied, to the full and complete souls, love, remembrance, and namaste from Bab Dada, the bestower of fortune and bestower of blessings. Bab Dada meeting the teachers by serving the servers themselves become powerful and also become instruments 
fulfilling power in others. True spiritual service always makes you instrumental for self-progress and the progress of others. Before serving others, you first have to serve yourself. To speak knowledge to others means that you hear it first, because it would enter your ears first. You don't have to speak knowledge to others, but you have to listen to it first. So, you have double benefit through service. You benefit and others also benefit. To remain busy in service means to become a conqueror of Maya easily. Maya comes when you don't remain busy. Servers means those who remain busy. Servers never have any time. When you don't have any time, how can Maya come? To be a server means to be easily victorious. Servers can easily enter the rosary because they are easily victorious. So, victorious souls will enter the rosary of victory. Servers means those who eat fresh, nourishing food. Those who eat fresh fruit remain healthy. Doctors always say, eat fresh fruit and vegetables. Therefore, to serve means to take vitamins. You are such servers, are you not? Service has so much importance. Now, check these things. Are you experiencing such service? No matter how much confusion some may have, service makes them dance in happiness. No matter how ill you may be, service will make you healthy. It should not be that you become ill from doing service. No. Service makes ill people healthy. Let there be such an experience. You are such special servers, such special souls. Bab Dada always looks at the servers with an elevated relationship because you have become renunciates and tapaswis in order to serve. Seeing your renunciation and tapasya, Bab Dada is always pleased. All servers are souls who have become instruments for constant service. Always consider yourself to be an instrument and continue to move forward in service. Check that you don't have the consciousness of mine, that I am a server. The father is Karavanhar and I am an instrument. The one inspiring is making me do it. The one making me move along is making me move. With this elevated feeling, you will always remain loving and detached. If I am the one who is doing everything, I cannot be detached and loving. Therefore, the easy way to be constantly detached and loving is Karavanhar is making me do everything. Maintain this awareness and then there will be greater success and service will be done easily. There won't be any effort. You are not those who enter into the web of the consciousness of I. If you say Baba, Baba in everything, there is success. Such servers always move forward and also make others move forward. Otherwise, you yourself are sometimes in the flying stage, sometimes the ascending stage, and sometimes the walking stage. You will continue to fluctuate and you won't be able to make others powerful. You are not those who always just say, Baba, Baba, but those who actually do it in practice. Such servers are always close to Bab Dada and are always destroyers of obstacles. Teachers means those who are always full. So, 
You are those who experience fullness, are you not? When you yourselves are full of all treasures, you will be able to serve others. When you yourself are not full, what would you give others? Servers means those who are full of all treasures. You always have the intoxication and happiness of being full. Not a single treasure is lacking. It isn't that you have powers, but no virtues, or that you have virtues, but no powers. It is not like that. You are full of all treasures. Whatever power you need, invoke that power and it comes. That is called being full. Are you like this? Those who keep a balance of remembrance and service, not those who sometimes have more remembrance or sometimes perform more service. You are equal in both and keep a balance between the two. Claim a right to the blessings of being full, full of all virtues. If even one virtue is lacking, you are not full. If even one power is lacking, you wouldn't be called full. You should be constantly full and full in everything. Such ones are called worthy servers. Do you understand? Be full at every step. Such experienced souls are authorities of experience. Always experience the Father's company. Bhaptada, meeting the Kumaris. You are constantly lucky Kumaris, are you not? Do you constantly experience the sparkling star of your fortune on your forehead? Is the star of fortune sparkling on your forehead? Or is it going to sparkle? To belong to the Father means for the star to sparkle. So, have you become this? Or are you still thinking about making a deal? Are you those who are going to think about it? Or those who will do it in practice? Can your deal be canceled if someone tries to cancel it? What would happen if you made another deal after having made a deal with the father? In that case, you would have to look at your fortune. No one belongs to a poor person after belonging to a millionaire. Poor ones belong to the wealthy. Wealthy ones would not become poor. Are you so strong that after belonging to the father, your thoughts cannot be drawn anywhere else? To the extent that you stay in the company, to that extent, your color will be fast. If the company is weak, the color you are colored with will be weak. Therefore, you need the company of both the study and service. Then you will always remain firm and unshakable. You will not fluctuate. When your color is fast, so many centers can be opened with so many hands. Kumaris are those who are free from bondage. You will also end the bondages of others, will you not? You are those who always make a firm deal with the Father. When you have courage, you also receive the Father's help. If courage is lacking, you receive less help. Acha, blessing, may you be an image that attracts and make your home into a temple by transforming the lokic into the alokic. While living at home with your family, make the atmosphere of your home such that there is no worldly gross feeling there. Anyone who goes there should feel that place to be a lokic, not lokic, that it is not an ordinary home, but a temple. This is the practical form of service of those who remain pure while living at home with the family. Let both the place and the atmosphere serve. 
just as the atmosphere of a temple attracts everyone, in the same way, let there be the fragrance of purity in your home, and this fragrance will automatically spread everywhere and attract everyone. Slogan, concentrate your mind and intellect with determination and burn away weaknesses for only then will you be called true yogis. Om Shanti.